Well, I'm delighted to be joined by the three nominees here today. I'm going to start with Leo. Leo, marcaste tu gol número 600 ante el Liverpool. Era por el Barça, pero ante el Liverpool. Um, y también este gol ganó el premio al mejor gol uh, de la temporada. ¿Cómo se mantiene este nivel, esta calidad de goles? Y después de marcar tantos goles, ¿te sigue generando la misma emoción? Sí, la verdad que, que sí, que lindo hacer goles. Eh, es una sensación muy linda para, para uno, para el equipo, para la gente. Y bueno, está, está bueno poder hacer goles. <risa> Imposible descansar de marcar y ganar, ¿no? Es el objetivo siempre, ¿no? Intentar de, de hacer las cosas para, para ganar, sobre todo más que, que marcar. Y bueno, si se puede marcar, mejor también. Gracias, Leo. Cristiano, you are still the top scorer in the history of this competition. That has not gone away. You've had a great year for club and country, winning the Scudetto in your first season in Italy, the Nations League with uh, Portugal as well. You love a challenge. How has this first year in Italy been for you? Amazing. Uh, it was a special year because I, I moved from, I was nine years in Real yeah. Madrid and to move to Italian League it was a big move, but it was good. The, the year was amazing. Uh, I won three titles, the um, Super Cup, uh, Serie A, and Nationals Cup against Holland, which is, is fantastic. <laughs> nice to see Virgil yes, again. Yes, I have to say Holland. <laughs> and it was good. Um, individual, I, I did very well, uh, and collective as well. So amazing year, and I'm, I'm so glad. Another year, uh, another record, so perfect. Now, we haven't had you both together for a while, so while you're both here, we noticed you've been talking a lot. Do you miss him? ¿Te extraña o no? Es, es la pregunta. <laughs> ¿Para él o para mí? No, tú a él. Ah, quiero los dos, sí. ok. El que conteste primero. Sí, yo se lo ¿Sí? dije en su momento, era lindo Llores tenerlo. Lloré mucho por Cristiano. <laughs> era una rivalidad linda, sobre todo porque estaba en el Madrid también, y, y bueno, ahora está en un gran equipo también, y lo vemos de, de España. Oh, it's Espanol? No, English, English. I think, yeah. <laughs> I was curious because we shared this stage 15 years, yeah. me and him. I don't know if it's ever happened in football, mm. the same two guys in the same stage all the time. Yeah. So it's not easy, <laughs> no. as, as you know. Uh, and of course, we have a good relationship. We, we not had a dinner together uh, yet, in, but really? I hope in the future. <laughs> I You're in Monaco tonight. <laughs> that is nice. Of course, I miss, I miss to play in, in Spain. Uh, we have that battle the yeah. last 15 years, which is good. Uh, he pushed me and I push him as yeah. well. So it's good to be, in a, to be part of history of football. I'm there and, uh, of course, he's there as well. You had a recent interview, didn't you? Taken a little bit out of context, saying that you're going to retire next year. I think it's very clear for you that you're not retiring just yet. You'll be around for a while. Can we just ask you to make sure you retire at the same time as Leo? Well, que termine su carrera al mismo momento que tú. He's two years younger than me. So I keep think. going, no? Uh, but I think I look good for my age. I'm still. <laughs> I'm not bad. <laughs> So you have, I hope to be here next year, and in two years, in three years. So the people who don't like me, they're going to see me here. <laughs> the haters are all part of it, aren't they, Christian? I mean, we want to see this rivalry go on as long as possible. Thank you very much, both of you. And um, Virgil, you're like the, uh, the new kid with these two. How does that feel? It feels all right. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm very proud to be here. Um, Obviously, with these two guys, they've done pretty well over the last 15 years, what you've been saying. So, yeah, what I say, I'm very proud to be here, and um, we'll see what's going to happen. Well, you've more than earned your right to be here. We talked a little bit about, you know, that final victory seek, uh, so, sunk, sinking in, I should say. Let's go back to that semi-final, that comeback. I'm sorry, Leo's here, but hopefully he doesn't understand too much English. But um, the <laughs> that, um, you know, 3-0 down at the camp now, you completely turned it around. It was an incredible game of football. There was so much drama, so many characters who played their part, you know, the cheeky, uh, quick corner as well, you know, so many elements to that. It was a gutsy performance. I mean, at what point did you believe 
that you could turn that tie around? And also, what role did Anfield play in that? Well, first of all, I think Anfield played a, a massive role. Well, I think after the game in Spain, I think we all felt that, you know, Trino wasn't really, you know, the right, you know, result at the night, but it was reality. You know, we were Trino down and we had to overcome it by do the unthinkable. But I think we had a, we had a crazy couple of days, actually. We, we, we traveled back and in the weekend we played Newcastle and uh, we scored in the last couple of minutes to get the three points. We also obviously were in a tight title race at the time as well. And, and we recovered from Newcastle, then one day to prepare for the Barcelona game. And to actually do it was unbelievable. Um, I think the, the man himself can say that the atmosphere was outstanding. It was, it was something special and, and everything obviously clicked at that evening as well. The goals he scored at the right times, um, you know, was just a fantastic evening. Yeah, one of the most memorable nights. Congratulations to all three of you on your nominations. We'll be finding out who will be winning the Men's Player of the Year in just a moment. But for now, back to Pedro. Thanks, Rashman. Thanks also to Leo, Cristiano and Virgil. Good luck to all of them. We'll be finding out who wins very shortly. As I invite Rashman to join me back here on stage, I'd also like to take the opportunity to welcome back the UEFA president, Alexander Sheferin. Welcome back, President. If you could please do the honors and reveal who has won the UEFA Men's Player of the Year for 2019. UEFA Men's Player of the Year is Virgil van Dijk. Congratulations. <laughs> Virgil, congratulations. You've been talking about what a successful season you, you had, uh, both for club and country, reaching the final of the UEFA Nations League. As you stand here as the men's player of the year for UEFA, what goes through your mind as you've worked so hard from being a kid to a young player to breaking into the first teams and now winning the Champions League and this trophy? Yeah, well, first of all, I think I need to thank all my teammates. Um, without all of them and without the staff, obviously, I wouldn't achieve what I've achieved over the last year, especially. Um, thank my family, of course. But yeah, it's been it's been a it's been a long road, um, but it's part of my my journey. It's, it's part of you know who I am. I needed it like this. I'm not a player who was you know 18 years old and 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 had that rise straight away. I had to work hard for every step of the way, and that. That's part of me, and, and I'm very happy about that. And, and yeah, what well, I say, I'm very proud to uh, yeah, to get this trophy. And uh, it's all credit to everyone that's you know helped me along the way. And if I may ask, was there a particular inspiration or role model that you had when you were going through those tough steps throughout your career? Well, I, I looked up. I looked up as a, as a young player to Ronaldinho because he had so much you know joy in his his, his way of playing. You know, his tricks. Uh, obviously, I played a lot on the streets, and it was it was such a you know great feeling to to watch him play. And uh, but overall, I think you know all the people that helped me throughout the throughout the way, you know, until now, and obviously will will, happen, will help me in the future as well. I will always be very grateful for them. Pleasure to have you here. Congratulations again, Virgil. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, Virgil. Thank you, well done. Stay, stay, stay yeah, with us. Stay with us. Don't stay leave with us. us. Don't, don't go. Don't stay. go. Yeah, sorry, I, leave. <laughs> I leave or not? You stay as well. Both of you are welcome on this stage. That does bring us to the end of tonight's show. Congratulations from all of us to Lucy Bronze and, of course, to you, Virgil. And thanks to the UEFA president, Alexander Cheferin. I'm glad you stayed. And uh, all of tonight's award winners and very special guests. And believe it or not, the UEFA Champions League group stages kick off in less than three weeks' time from now. So the very best of luck to all of the 32 clubs taking part in this season's competition. There, that's right. From Pedro and myself and everybody here in Monaco, it's been a real pleasure to have your company. Thank you for joining us, and good night. Good night. <laughs> Congratulations. Don't go. No, 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 no.
This program was brought to you by Heineken.